great to see you. My name is Christopher Palmer. In today's off-page SEO video, what I would like to go ahead and walk you through is off-page SEO, utilizing 301 redirects. Now, 301 redirects can be a very effective way to go ahead and build backlinks, especially if you're looking for very particular types of backlinks in order to enter the link graph at a very cheap or inexpensive cost. You know, there's a lot of links out there that you simply just cannot get as a normal webmaster. Now, aside from that, what I really would like to point out is a, one very in particular lesson, and I have two really good examples to go ahead and share with you. Two examples that were ours, where you could see, you know, where we made a very crucial mistake, and then on another campaign where we rectified ourselves. Now, I want to walk you through exactly what this issue is, and exactly how you can prevent it, and how you can effectively utilize 301 redirects in order to maximize your off-page SEO efforts. So I don't want to waste any time. Let's go ahead and get directly into it. Now, of course, uh, what I will be sharing with you um, is going to be uh, a couple of screenshots from SEMrush. All right. Now, I will uh, go ahead and um, I'm going to hide the uh, some of the sites. All right. Uh, but I have no problem sharing with you uh, some of the juicy details. All right. So I'm pretty sure you can go ahead and see this, the screen here. Now we are streaming and I will go ahead and give this to you. So first and foremost, this is what I want to go ahead and share with you. All right. Let me, let me move, uh, let me move these up here and we'll do them one at a time. So here's the very first one. Now, what I want to share with you is you can go ahead and see here that the authority score was gained in, in a very short period of time. Now, if you take a look here, back in December, you can see a massive spike, right? A huge spike of organic traffic, right? Organic traffic skyrocketed. Now, when I'm telling you that 301 redirects are effective, this was the primary strategy of this campaign right here. And you can see here, we got a massive, massive increase in overall in organic keywords. And you can see that we had a massive influx of organic traffic. And the primary way that we were building links for this campaign, and I'll go ahead and share this with you. The number one way that we were building links for this campaign was utilizing 301 redirects. And I just want to go ahead and share with you, this is not backlinks built. This is referring domains. Massive difference. There's a huge difference between building 10.5 million backlinks. But at the end of the day, we had 40,000 referring domains that were purchased very inexpensively. Now, what I want to share with you, and the reason why I'm pointing this out to you is there's 40,000 referring domains. If you take a look at here, you can see that this was all done literally December, the end of December, January, February, March. Within 90 days, we built 40,000 referring domains. And when I tell you that it was done dirt cheap, dirt cheap. Now, if you take a look at this, take a look at this here quick. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start walking you through some of the issues so you don't have to make this mistake. I've made this mistake, so you don't have to, all right? It was effective, don't get me wrong. But when you, when you only have a six-month run, that's it's just not sustainable, all right? So, But we have figured this out. You'll get much better growth over the course of time, and you'll still be able to get rewarded for a very low cost. All right. So take a look at this. Now, if you take a look here, you can see here climate debate daily assignment help deluxe themes, supercar news, case study help assignment help, Australia office.com setup, right? <laughs> you know, this is a wild range. All right. Of different domains, URLs that we were utilizing in order to prop up this website to achieve massive success in a short period of time for a short period of time. Now, here's what I want to share with you. Now, here's another example from another client of ours. Um, this is actually a personal account, not necessarily a client. Now, as you can see here, it was a lot more of a gradual increase. The primary focus and the primary way that we were building links for this campaign was utilizing 301 redirects. Now, this is buying very selective 
backlinks. And we're going to cover the mistake that we made and how you can prevent it in the most effective way and the most important thing that you need to be looking for when you're buying expired domains for the backlink equity. I'm going to cover this with you. I just want to show you some of the results, the mistakes, how we rectified it, and then we'll go over the strategy. All right. So bear with me here. Now, if you take a look here, you can see here, you know, this was a very gradual, I think we got on right around in here, to be honest with you. So as you can see here, like we started to gradually pick things up. Overall referring domain counts went up. Backlinks went down. All right. Referring domains went up. Backlinks went down. That was not a mistake. <laughs> uh, referring domains trump overall backlinks. All right. We had to go in there and clean up a couple messes, as you can see here. Now, I want you to take a look at the traffic. Again, very beautiful thing. We are running a little bit of paid on this campaign. I'm hoping that I didn't leave the name of this site. Okay, good. So if you take a look here, you can see Organic traffic really started to pick up during the brunt of the campaign of the backlink building, right? When we started deploying the when we started deploying the expired domains, some of these were auctioned, some of them were expired. We were able to buy less, get a positive result, and we have seen a much more sustainable performance over time. All right. So as you can see here, I mean, we are really starting to pick up organic keywords and traffic is more gradual. You know, we got on this campaign, you can tell here when we started moving around. So February, March, it's like around March is when we started really cranking. So you can see it's just, it's more gradual, it's more steady, it's more sustainable, but we're gaining more, more and more top position keywords over the course of time. So what was the big mistake? And how did we rectify it, right? What was the issue? And what what one thing do you need to make sure? And I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna give you an example utilizing a local website. All right, it's very simple, but it's massively important when you're buying expired or auction domains. The difference between I'm gonna share this with you right now. The difference between getting a giant spike like this, okay, and going to the flipping moon. We were, dude, I felt like a king when I was doing this. Like, look at this jump. This is disgusting, right? Look at this jump. This is huge. And look at this traffic trend. What? But as fast as we went up, we plummeted. So here's how you rectify this. All right. And, and here was the major issue. And here's how you can avoid this. And the one thing that you need to make sure of and the difference between having a rank and bank campaign and having a sustainable top earning website producing hundreds of leads per week. Hundreds. So here, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Check this out. So let's say that you're inside, um, let's say that you are, I don't know, pick a niche. Let's say you're a lawyer, all right? Because if you stick with me, I got to take a look at a lawyer site too. We're, we're going to have to do that together here tonight. Uh, this is a stream. Um, let's, let's pretend we're a lawyer. All right. Let's say that we are a DUI lawyer in Los Angeles. All right. I may or may not have a client over here in Los Angeles. Very good uh, set of guys over here. <laughs> um, Justia is, is tough. But let's just say that Justia is our competitor. All right. This one thing is the difference between a sustainable and a rank and bank campaign. When we take a look at top performing websites, all right, we'll use SEMrush for the examples. All right. We come in here. Okay. Let's just come in here to Justia. And I'm going to share with you the most important thing that you need to be looking for. You know, I'm not saying that buying expired domains for particular links. All right. When you're, I'm going I'm to give you a couple tips. The most important thing that you need to be looking for is if Justia is the number one ranker, and we need to look at number two, number three, number four, number five. I usually just look at the top three. The thing we need to be looking at is under backlink analytics. When you're buying expired domains, if you want to cherry pick backlinks in order to get particular links to certain pages, fine, have at it. But when I'm looking to get to the finish line for as cheap and as fast as possible and have a sustainable uptrend. 
when you're buying your expired domains, you're looking for one thing and one thing only. Whoops. Stick with me here. What you care about is this. So we're going to take a look at Just Deal. We'll use this as an example. When you scroll down the page here, see how, see what the category of the overall backlinks are, where you can get a percentage of backlinks are considered news category backlinks. There's a percentage. 30% of the backlinks are business type backlinks. 25%, like the main overall link graph is made up of news, business, arts, jobs, and people. All right. So when we come in, when we're coming into buy domains, we're looking for domains either in the news, business, arts, jobs, or people. Now, take remember this right here. Top is news, business, arts, jobs, and people. All right. This is the top performing site. And this is a huge site, huge in the lawyer space. This isn't necessarily an easy niche. All right. So let's take a look at this. So we have a top performer. Let's go ahead and grab one. So here's Los Angeles DUI attorney. All right. This, this particular site it used to be up at the top. Um, this guy does really good SEO. All right. I know it looks like junk, but this guy, know, this guy knows what he's doing. All right. Um, but let's take a look at this. If you come over here, remember news, business, arts, jobs, people. Now, how much do you want to bet that he's in the right category? A performer that you need in the link graph. Yes, it's good to have the exact links, but what's more important is making sure that I'm getting the links in the right category. Because if I'm in the right category, the probability of me being able to rank and being in the link graph significantly goes up. I'm going to share with you another thing. I'm going to share with you something about a link graph, looking at a graphical interface and the difference between a top performer and not. I'll share this with you. Take a look at this. Oh my goodness. Who would have thought? Now there's one different, right? But here's business, arts, news, jobs. This one just so happens to have internet and telecom. But two, four, four out of the five are literally identical. Gee, who would have thought? You get what I'm saying? Now, that might be an interchangeable one, right? Like inter intercom and telecom. And business is huge. It's not about the secondary category. And what I mean by this is if you're looking at, say, Majestic, it'll say business slash like industrial, business slash restaurant, business, right? It's about the primary category. And here's why it matters in getting into a link graph. Now, I'm going to utilize SEMrush because I already have it up. But I want you to take a look at something. Take a look at your own sites. Take a look at sites like that have PBM. Look, at, I'll share this with you, right? Let's, let's, let's go look at something here. Watch this. If you take a look at this. See this network graph or a link graph? This is SEMrush's version of a link graph. Now, I understand that Google has a massive link graph as opposed to, say, SEMrush. The same with Majestic. Majestic also shows one that's pretty robust, right? But take a look at this. Do you see, like, you can see that there's a couple branches off here, right? But if you take a look, almost every single one of these sites are connected, right? That's the link graph. Take a look at Justia. The better the site, the more authoritative the site, the tighter it is. This, this actually looks like a network up in here, right? But usually it's so tight. It's so tightly wound. Like here, check this out. Let me see if I have a good one here. Just the lawyers. Check out this guy. Here, I'll show you this real quick. I might know who this person is. Um, check this out. Backlink Analytics. This is a top performer in one of the niches that I'm in. Very tough niche. Look, look at the backlink profile. And then you wonder why this site is number one across the board in a, a thor, uh, keyword difficulty score of 90 or better. They're number one across the board, this particular site. These guys are massively insane. But look at this link. Look how tight the link graph is. Every single site is connected to every other site. There's no branches. There's no little networks, right? They're in the link graph. They own the link graph. 
Your goal as an SEO is to get in this link graph. The fastest, cheapest way is not cherry picking links. Like that's good. That's cool. Don't get me wrong. But if you want to do it fast and cheap, get into the category of links. I guarantee you'll get to the finish line faster and you'll get there sustainably. My name is Chris Palmer. These, this is a massive mistake that I've made. I've rectified myself with multiple campaigns since that massive flop. I wanted to go ahead and share this information with you so you do not have to make the same mistake when doing your through one redirects or building out your pages. Buy into the category, right? You'll get a much more sustainable rankability. You'll get there faster and you'll get there cheaper. If you have any questions related to local SEO, SEO, off-page SEO, I mean, really anything at all, never hesitate. Always feel free to go ahead and ask in the section below. Please take your time to go ahead and check out seomastermind.org if you want to have more of a, maybe a group feel or a one-on-one -on -one session with me. But with that being said, I look forward to seeing you in the next off-page SEO 301 redirect link building video. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. All right. So I got to look at a site. We'll do that together.